guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys are probably all wondering on why I have absolutely no makeup on my face. But as you've seen by the title or by the thumbnail, I am testing out the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. And I know a lot of people already did test over this or this is nothing new, but it's kind of new to me. I bought it kind of at the end of last year and I just never gave it a chance yet. I've never used it once. I'm really excited to try it out with you guys, so I hope you guys want to see this video. I am going to be coming back a few times during the day to say like, oh, it's looking like this, it's looking like this. Just a few check-ins. I'm not going to wear this until like midnight or whatever. It is 10.20 in the morning right now, and I know a lot of people do their makeup at like 7 in the morning, and I apologize. I'm just not an early bird person. Like, I sleep till like 9 every single day, so forgive me but I have to go to work at noon and I get off around like six. So I will come back on and tell you guys how it looks after work and then once before I go to bed. So if you wanna see this wear test over this foundation, then of course, just keep watching. So I'm first gonna put my hair back. And for primer, I'm gonna be using the Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. I have been obsessed with this primer. It was even in my 2018 beauty favorites. And I know that was a very, very long video. I just feel like I really experimented with makeup in the year of 2018. I was always purchasing new things. I was always testing out new things for you guys. So I know it's a long video. It was like 50 minutes long, but to me it was well worth it because I just had so many items to talk about, which is good, right? You always want to find a lot of things that you like in one year. But anyways, I'm going to be going into the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I got it in the shade Light 65. I didn't really know how to pick my color. I mean, they did have a very good graph on their website. Oh my god, that looks really yellow. But I kind of just guessed no matter what, even on like Sephora and Ulta. I always do my eyes first. This is so weird. It does look like it gives me a very good coverage. It's just super hella yellow on me. So far for just getting my face, that was pretty good coverage. I took about two pumps. It is a very runny like consistency. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. I think that's what it's called. I use it all the time on my channel. Hopefully I can make this look a little bit more natural with like concealer and bronzer because right now this is just way too yellow for my skin. Plus I don't really like ordering foundations online. I feel like the pictures online are totally misleading like they don't look anything like it in real life because I feel like this was not a yellow complexion online. We're just gonna make it work, blend it down my neck in a little bit around my collarbones here. So it does look like my skin shade. It does seem like a pretty good coverage for this foundation. I just, I can't believe how runny it is. Are we supposed to shake it first? It doesn't say so, but it's so runny. This is the first layer. I don't know how well you guys can tell, but it does look like it gave me a very good coverage for only putting like one layer on. I'm actually kind of impressed with this foundation. It does not look that matte, but I can definitely tell that it's more of a matte foundation. It looks pretty natural to me. Doesn't look like it caked up around my nose, which is always a good sign because a lot of foundations do that. I don't know why, it just gets really cakey around my nose right here, but it actually looks like really nice. This might be my perfect shade in the summer. It is just like a little bit more of a yellow undertone and a little bit too deep for me right now, but the finish, I actually am really enjoying it. I don't really know if I need to add another layer because it looks like it covered up like everything. Maybe just a little bit more on my neck, but other than that, it looks stunning. Might be a new favorite foundation. I'm so excited to see how this wears throughout the day. I love trying out new foundations. I think foundations are just such a big part of makeup and I love trying out new finishes and just seeing which ones work for me and which ones don't. I'm actually just gonna leave it like this. I like the coverage of how this is and I don't want to keep building it up because I do have to go to work today and I don't want to see if it like gets cakey after you apply two layers 
I am actually just fine with one layer. It looks really good and it looks really natural on me. So I'm going to go ahead and set it and put concealer on and do the rest of my face and I will be right back. Alright, I am finally done with my makeup. It is 11.08 right now and I just finished my makeup and I am pretty excited about this makeup look. I didn't record it, but I love doing a just glamorous smoky eye for, you know, an everyday. But the products I used today was this concealer. It's the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I just used it underneath my eyes. To set that, I used the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Press Powder to brush brighten it up and I think it looks so bright underneath my eyes now. And to set the rest of my face, I use the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I just love this because I feel like it doesn't alter my foundation. So I really wanted to test it out and that is a really good powder to do it with. For bronzer, I use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. I love this bronzer. I just used it to contour my face and bronze it a little bit. For blush, I used the Bird's Bees Blush in Shy Pink. I think I actually built it up a little too much, but my blush fades more than anything, so I didn't mind building it up a little bit more. And for highlight, I used the ColourPop Highlight in here, Kitty Kitty, one of my favorite highlights of all time. I did go into the Anastasia Sultry Palette. I love this palette. It was even in my 2018 favorites because it is such a great everyday makeup, or you can do a very glam, smoky eye with it. This is one of my favorite Anastasia palettes. I don't know if this is considered cheating or not, but I did set my face today. I use the ColourPop All-Star Face Setting Spray. I don't know, to me it's cheating if you don't spray your face with setting spray because that is what I do every single day. I spray my face with setting spray, I go to work, so it will last all day. So I didn't really know what to do. I wanted to give this foundation a fair shot because I really think that it had a stunning finish as soon as I put it on. It was getting a little bit creasy in my lines on my forehead, which actually happens pretty often because I have very fine lines on my forehead. I just have very expressional expressions, I guess you could say. I don't know. But for lip product, then I went into the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Midi. I also did put on some fake lashes and for mascara I use the Tarte Tartius Lash Paint Mascara. I just wanted to tell you guys everything that I use because I don't want to be like oh my gosh you just too much products or oh my gosh you didn't use enough. I did a full glam look with this foundation and so far so good. There was no patchiness when I put on my bronzer. All the products I put on top of this foundation turned out very nicely and very pigmented and no patchiness or anything like that. So I have very high hopes for this foundation. If I'm getting criticized anything, it was my shade selection, but that is totally my fault. It's a little too dark for me at the moment because I'm 50 shades of white right now. But other than that, I love the finish so far and I will be checking in around 6.30ish. I get off at 6 and it takes me like a good half hour to get home. So that's when I will do my next checkup and see how this foundation is doing. I have high hopes. I really hope it works out for me because this is like a $10 foundation. So I would really, really like it to work for me just because it is so affordable. I love affordable slash drugstore items, but yeah, I will see you guys at 6.30ish. <laughs> I am back! It is 6.27 right now, if you can see that. I told you I'd be back around 6.30. I am good. Now let's talk about this foundation. We're only wearing it since 10.30, 11 o'clock this morning. Not sure how I'm liking it. It looks very, very cakey. It looks like I didn't even set it on my forehead, and I did. Around my nose, it's all crusty in my smile lines right right here it looks okay but my oils are also seeping through my nose really bad i was really thinking this foundation would like work a lot better you have to like put some effort into it and try a couple things before you can officially decide if you like it or hate it maybe this primer didn't really match with this foundation maybe my setting powder well, my setting powder from ColourPop should work with ColourPop foundation, but you never know. And maybe I just need to put a matte setting powder instead of the Airspun setting powder on top. There's so many different things that you could do. Hopefully you guys can see, like, it got all cakey. 
around my nose and my nose is really oily you can see my smile lines and then my forehead looks disgusting to me i don't know how well you can even see it but it like has smear marks all right there of like foundation buildup. Around my cheek area it doesn't look that bad. This side looks a lot better than even this side. This side my bronzer looks a little patchy but it wasn't like that earlier. But so far give it like a C because wearing it for like six hours really isn't that long. It should last a lot longer than this. I'll come back around 10 o'clock and let you guys know my final decision for like today's video because I'm obviously going to try it out again several times with different products. It's a first impression review so I have to tell you what it looks like at the very end of the day. But yeah, that is my check-in for right now. Alright guys, this is my very last check-in and I am so ready for bed. I mean so old. <laughs> it is only 10 11 at night. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that say they're gonna check in and then they forget because that drives me nuts. But let's talk about this foundation. I'm done with this forehead foundation. It is every time I sweep my hair back I'm leaving like streak marks because that's how lifted this foundation is because I think my oils just lifted it all up. Even though I set it with the spray, mainly around my nose it's all gone on my chin a little bit. Oh, this does not look very pretty. I like it a lot better when I first put it on. It is just very cakey and gross right now, but it's also time for bed and time to take it off. But that is a normal day for me, guys. I wake up at 9, I put on my foundation around like 10 or 11, then I go to work for 5 hours, I come home, and I pretty much take off my makeup right away when I come home, but just for this video and to review this foundation. I kept it on till around 10 o'clock for you guys. I wouldn't consider this foundation a very long lasting foundation. I definitely have to try it with a few other products like a different primer, a different setting powder. It can make a world of difference like if I just use different products to make this work. It actually might last a really long time so I'm not like the hugest fan of first impressions because something can be changed and altered to make it look way better. We're about to get personal again. So around my nose, completely gone and like right here, all gone. My lipstick is still holding on though. I never reapplied this. This is a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Midi. On my cheek area, it still looks like really well. My foundation on my forehead is a mess though. Like there's a whole spot missing right here. There's streak marks from when I keep pulling back my hair. So there's like nail marks. I don't know how well you can see, but that's my up close. All right, and that was my first impression over the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I hope you guys really enjoyed this first impression and found it somewhat helpful or interesting. I will definitely have to try it out with different products as well, and I will let you guys know in the future how I feel about it, but this is just first impressions. It always makes it a little bit more difficult because you never know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that notification bell, and subscribe down below for me. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!